round was a second. A single second. And each a single second. And each weapon had a different recovery time. So like if you were using a staff, it had like a recovery time of like ten. So you had to take wait, you could attack, and then you had to wait ten rounds for your full swing to go through, and then get <laughs> ready, and then you could do another <laughs> swing. That's amazing. <laughs> There is a version of Hackmaster that's set in the Wild West, and each round of combat is a tenth of a second. Yeah. Because because it's all about how quickly you draw, and yep. if you actually take the time to aim and fire in a duel, or if you're just shooting Ironside. Yep. From I've heard head. of that one. And it was very rare to actually see those kinds of duels, because it was usually, if you got nicked by the bullet, you were basically dead. Yeah. Exactly. Fact, it was really gritty realism on that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Gritty and realism it was real grit. True grit. Fucking even. awful. But those are my <laughs> Hackmaster stories. That's I wanted to uh, go off of something from earlier about older things being listed in books. Like, if you look in the back of the DMG, it talks about creating races and sub races. The yeah. Eladrin is already a thing in the mm -hmm. and Azamar is already a thing yep. Yep. in the back of the book. Like they had yep. these ideas, Aarakocra, everything. Yep. Like it's me. Um, yeah, Tic Tac you know was in the back, DMG. <laughs> did you know back in like I want to say second edition, um, druids? Af oh, after you up. get it to a certain point, there's only a certain number of druids allowed in a specific region. <laughs> like at you know, some point, you you were a druid, but you were actually an initiate. This you four the same big enough for the like both level of us. nine or or something like that. But in order for you to reach level nine, you could get as many experience points as you wanted, but you always stopped one before you actually leveled up. The only way you could level up was by either convincing a druid an actual druid to leave the region or kill them <laughs> or beat them in combat in some way shape or form and here's the thing you had to challenge them they got to pick how the challenge went and it could be anything it could be who can turn into an animal better it could be we're gonna punch each other until one of us stops moving or it can be hey let's tell each other riddles until one of us can't get it right and the losing party either had to then vacate the premises or they lost enough experience and enough levels until they were down the next level. Wow. That is amazing. That's hardcore. Damn. And you could only take up to 16 levels, and at that point, oh, you were the probably. Druid Hierophant. Wow. And you got some cool stuff with it, but you couldn't take any more levels of Druid. I hmm. it's fucking crazy, man. Not to mention that if you were fighting something, let's say there are five members of your party and six members of the other party, and you defeat one of the members of the party, the druid thinks that it's over. Cause it's five and five. It's balanced. Ugh. You drop one of their members, they try to drop one of your members. Wow. <laughs> Neutral stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> that sounds about but, right. Dumb. But, oh my gosh. I, this, is, this is the shit that I learned about playing playing lots and lots of uh, old school D&D. So like, or at least reading some of the older books. I, yeah. I, that makes me so incredibly thankful for the improvements that have come over the years. Oh, Certain yeah. rangers in 4E were able to get the flanking <coughs> advantage from range. Yeah. Um, yeah no, rogues. No what? <laughs> rogues, too. Rogues could get um, flanking advantage from range. What? What rogues had a really range? stupid ability in 4E. It was like a uh, sly trickster or something? Yeah, uh, something like playful that. Playful trickster, maybe? Yeah. No, sly flourish. That was it. There, there we go. It was Bards basically were useful in 4E. <laughs> oh. As opposed to now. Oh. Hey, no, bards were not super useful in 3rd edition. Yeah. Or 3.5. Or Pathfinder. Or Pathfinder. 
Uh, although in 3-5, you could do a thing where you took like seven levels of Bard, two levels of Druid, one level of Rogue, one, and then there was like another thing that you basically, you got Druid level, you got Druid spells, you got Bard spells, you got Wizard Sorcerer spells. And a bunch of other shit. Okay. Like, it, and then if you went the whole, basically it's like you get a plus four, plus four, plus four to attack, plus four to damage. But if you went the route of Dragonborn, it became plus four to attack, and then plus four d6, whatever your breath weapon was. Hmm. Damn. Yeah. That's pretty good. Dragonborns. They're related to dragons. Speaking of dragons, we gotta take out a Draco Lich. <laughs> well, speaking of... Uh, so, are we ready to start here? Yes, sure. So, if we're ready to record? Yep. Okay. Yes. Welcome back, everybody. This is... It's been a week, but... <laughs> um, so, last time, we mentioned wanting to create a flying fortress. And I have I have been putting a lot of thought into this. And I have some good news and some bad news. It's the bad news. Bad news, news. fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> bad news, um, no. The bad news is that it is not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. Then, then it we already knew that, though. That's not bad news. What's like, the good news? Yeah. Uh, the good news is you can still do it. <laughs> oh no! The good news is, uh, no, the good news is we're in debt to the mob. Um, we're in debt to the mob. <laughs> no, wait, that's the bad news. And well, there was no good news. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so wait, there's a mob in this game. How did that happen? Well, you see, I may have promised some uh, unsavory characters that right. I could duplicate their item, and it turns out that got patched. Why don't you uh, just get their item back? Well, you see, I sold it, and now the bandits are coming. Precisely. <laughs> I have to get my SAO abridged reference in at some point this week, and damn it, it might as well be one of the first things we do. Yep. All right. Sweep it out of the rug. Those playing at home, that's your bingo card. <laughs> <laughs> That's a free space. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, it's if you would actually like to do some research in how you get a fortress to fly, yes. Uh, All right. Go ahead. ahead. You can. Uh, those of you oh, who yes, are interested, can make an Arcana uh, check. Yes, mm. that's me. I will assist you to gain advantage. Nice <laughs> and you should inspire yourself. Oh, right, Vernon does have the hat again. I do have the hat again, yeah. <laughs> Hooray, we have a nerd circle. Nerd Yay, circle. circle. Sending energy. Oh, oh shit. Boy. Oh, no. First I rule of the night. <laughs> yeah, you want to turn for advantage? Roll the d10. Uh, I would like to inspire myself. <laughs> now you, no, yeah. <laughs> Roll a 44, uh, I dare you. I have, so... A D12 is, it a, is it a D10 still, or did it go up to a D12? Ah. Oh no! It's a 35. That means the I'm The duality of luck. The duality of luck. Kind of that 46, but we couldn't get it. 35 is still the hardest. Is still like one of it the hardest is... DCs. Yeah. Okay. So there are many a different way that you could do this. Okay. Um. There are also many ways that you cannot do this. Nah, I would like, one I would of the first things that came into your mind was animate animate object. And then nope. you started working on the math. Um, and you realized that it that ain't gonna work. Okay. Oh yep. Um another option is to build it on top of a place where several ley lines converge. Mm. Um, the drawback to that is that you would actually drain the magic from the ley lines. Okay, oh, I want I want the upside, the, the the everyone wins and goes home with ice cream option, please. <sighs> Sorry, that's a DC forty check. Yep. <laughs> no ice cream for the you. Other option. 
is I have to get this name right. Oh no. <laughs> He's oh. got a name. Are we gonna have to fight a Sararak? Cause that I don't wanna fight a Sararak. Uh oh. Uh oh, he's flipping through a book. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What book is that? What am I gonna have to punch? I'll punch the shit out of it. Fight, restrain, and dominate an astral dreadnought. <laughs> That's not too hard. Just, just tame the astral dreadnought, please. Hey, this is this is this is pop music, right? So. You could. You have heard of something called a mythal. Uh, Spelling on that? A, 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 a mythal? We just need to oh, strap some. We just need to strap some mythals to the thing. Fire the mythal. Fire the mythal. <laughs> What's a mythal? Nuclear vessels. So, a <laughs> magic are by no means unique to elves, but the creation of mythals seems to be the knowledge that did originate with them. Known by different names on different worlds, a mythal is a persistent magical field that changes how reality works over a large area. Uh, Creating the most powerful of mythals requires many wizards of great renown and long, exper and long experience to engage in the same ritual, while lesser wizards feed spells into the growing webwork of magic. Such a ritual can take a long time to perform and sometimes requires the sacrifice of lives in order to achieve its purpose, but the results can be utterly miraculous. Um, do I have to kill people? I'd rather not kill people. I can kill people. We kill people. Only people only from your role, know that you do not, in fact, have to kill people. Okay. okay. But you I'll are going to need a lot of magic users. I can afford that. And you're still... also going to need... Someone who knows how to start and coordinate mythos. Oh no, if only we had some sort of, I don't know, 400 don't year know, old an, elf. Uh, 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 yeah, an elf who does magic. Does, does Somewhere. Our, does, our, does our resident elf know how this works? Know how a mythal works? That doesn't know. That is a good question. I will give Ilionor a chance. Roll an arcana check. Yay! Oh. Like Assistant. you inspire me. <laughs> I'd like to assist him at the very least. Yeah, can I, no can assist I help? Oh. No assistance. Uh, inspire! Can I inspire him? Oh. Uh, Unfortunately, you do it. not Think know mythos. Because you, because you are a hermit. Oh yeah. <laughs> you do not really work with other magic users. Do I know other magic users? Do I know someone capable of using mythol? Let's ask the Dracolich. <laughs> Hey! You you have an inkling. Probably the elves of Torrentera. Mm. Oh, there we can go pick up that deck of many things. Spot that people try to not go into. Wait, you mean the you mean the dragons? You mean with the cannibalistic elves? They're not cannibalistic. They eat humans. Let's huh. go traveling. Let's go traveling. What? They do, however, live in the wildlands. Yeah. So. Okay. So let's go recruit some help. Do we do this before or after the Draco Lich? Are we um, teleporting? Before, because in the before time we can prepare other other means for gather information and all that stuff. Yeah, I've got mm. one use of legend lore, which I really want to use on either the city or the dragon itself. I also have a use of legend lore. <laughs> oh, so we could do we could do nerd both. Nerd circle, those. nerd circle, nerd circle. Ray. Um, let's do that after we get our. Let's get Nickel logistics plan. underway. Well, hold on. Because, if, if, if I'm understanding this correctly, we're gonna start a mythal, right? Yeah. But uh, then we're gonna have to take a year, at the very least, so that the castle can be constructed. Yep. Uh, so, I'm confused on the logistics of that. Are we going to start construction of the castle today? When we I think we, well, we have to go get somebody to do the mythal first. Okay. And well, then I think the, the castle to be constructed. Wait, what? Then they will have. Then they will be able to do the mythal. Oh. So, oh, so we have to take the year. We have to take the year off and then go do other things. Can yeah. something, like? 
if we're recruiting all of these powerful spellcasters, can we also recruit them to use their magic to help the castle be built more quickly than it otherwise would? Or to do, or to cast the same spell that Eleanor has in his stead? <laughs> I can give them the material components. I have all that. Let's go find out. I yeah. cast create bricks. Essentially, except Essentially, it's... Essentially, that's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Many bricks. Yes, you're fine. Um, right. And so, and so what's going on with the uh, Draco Lich while this is all happening? So, it sounds like if it's going to take us a year to make the Flying Castle, so then than while... That. then Yeah, if, we're gonna take, if it's going to take us, a, a, you know, a year plus to make the Flying Castle, we should probably not let the Draco Lich sit... Yeah. But but it would definitely be worth going and making sure at least that we can get people to help us. Yeah. Quite at least at least about get a... the wildlands. How do we know there's no time flux thing there like with the Oh frick. Giants? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. We don't want to we don't want to leave for a year and come back to yeah. find We got to we got to dethrone that bitch in the desert. Then we can worry about Okay. That's no, that's my. That's my. I vote. think. I think that. Yeah. Uh, I. I didn't. I forgot the wild lens had time. For it, well, no, I don't know. That's what I'm scared of. Um. But I know I've lived near there. Mike. Mm -hmm. Would Eleanor know since his hut is outside of the, just outside the wildlands, if there's any sort of time dilation issue like what we encountered with the uh, storm giants, even if it's to a lesser degree? I just Throck, all Throck knows is that there's some shit that goes down in there, and it's and it has to do with magic. He doesn't want to lose more time. <laughs> the Wildlands. Okay. How how do I best explain this? Well, we're just curious so if the, Eleanor knows about it first. So basically, imagine a tear in the material plane. Okay. And the Feywild is bleeding out from it. Oh, okay. That's hmm. the wild land. So there, if we're looking for some place that might have time dilation, is probably a it's probably a good bet that there's some of that going on. But, some, not yeah. to the same degree as what you experienced before. Okay, but um, it is there. Still not a fan. Yeah, not no, fed. no. I don't want to like, give the Draco Lich more time to do what yeah. she wants than than we have to. Um. Maybe time moves fast. And it probably works in the opposite. So, like, a year in there might be, like, half a year outside. Oh, so it's... So why it's, wouldn't we just build... Why don't we build our castle in the wildlands? There if we find somebody. <laughs> I'm down. Yeah, that yeah. sounds but great. Again... Well, we gotta convince somebody to make the mythal there. And I mean, the spellcasters. Furthermore... That's how it usually works. That doesn't okay. guarantee it. Ah. Silly Feywild. Somebody's gonna turn the hourglass upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Our ancestry likes a lot of trick trickery for whatever mm -hmm. reason. <laughs> I will let you guys decide what you want to do. I think we should go to Torrentera to pick up Zed and then go to Embrace. Hmm. As far as travel goes, we'll have another person with us who tends to be efficient against uh, Undead. But you two guys can do your thing to know more about the dragon and know more about the city. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that probably, um, once Point. we make, once we make this plane safe, then we can look for ways, uh, especially, well, so, I didn't think it was gonna take quite that long. I don't want to wait for a year to yeah. get our yeah. interdimensional fortress ready. Even a, even half a year is, is, is a lot. Mm. Uh, yeah, the main point of, question. uh, can somebody put Legend Lore's spell card in the chat? Sure. I just want to read through the spell. Legend Lore. We don't know. 
do we know the spe the specific name of the Master of Masters in Embrus? That's her title, and we know that she's a Draco Witch now. But she is known as the Mistress. She is just known as the Mistress? Yes. Okay. We'll find out if that's enough to learn about her through the spell then. That was my only concern, because I know you needed to... Aranis, you needed to know the Green Dragon's full name last time you cast it. Yeah. Could we, like, use Aunt Cass? Like, ask her if she knows the dragon's, like, name, just to validate it? Because she's trapped as Aunt Cass, but she's a dragon, right? Yes. Might be worth asking. She is, but it doesn't mean she knows... It doesn't mean all dragons know each other. Yeah. Oh, they're all no, old no. people. They all know each other. <laughs> Haven't you heard the stories? <laughs> Let me tell you about this one time. <sighs> See, you right. get old enough, so, and, ever, and all the I other people the just die. You only have to keep track of like five. <laughs> quick question: Does anybody have something other than my quick visit? Uh, have something that needs to happen that we need to get done in Coronan, or can we go to Rivers Keep to talk to Aunt Cass and start the legend lore process? So I'm waiting for my. Uh, dragon femur nunchucks. And how long did was that going to take? Three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. Three weeks? The okay. same time it was going to take to pick up your stuff. And all your research was done during those three weeks. Yep. Okay, so it's, so they're done now. Yep. Would I have been oh, able okay. to commission that Sean in the last week? Because I... Or no. The, um, no, he week? had some other projects. Okay. That is to well. say, he had the the other projects that your your fellow people have brought in. Uh, I would love to get the stat block on the nunchucks if you have it available. Um, All right, they were made from uh, red, dragon, red dragon, correct? Red dragon yes, ancient red dragon, ancient red dragon. Paper. So they are. Um, they use your unarmed. Normally they'd just be a D4, but they use your unarmed uh, bonus as a monk, your unarmed damage as a monk. Mm. Um, let me... What are you at, by the way, for your martial arts die? Uh, D8, I want to say? I think, it's, I think it's still a D8. I don't think it goes up to a D10 until next level. <laughs> level 17. Do they have monk robes in the final? Oh, two. Yep. <laughs> no, they don't. Oh, uh, that sucks. You're supposed to be able to play 5e without magic items if you really want. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's sort of like hard mode, but uh, yeah, not nearly the same as Pathfinder in terms of like uh, yeah, roll, this is roll, basically a roll, level roll, roll roll loot. random loot for uh, for um, the party in my Iron Gods game, and all the random items I rolled for them was fucking monk robes and boost the boost the monks unarmed strike damage by four levels. No, five, five levels. levels. Is it five or four? Um, four. Four. Okay. Using the dragon femur nunchucks, you cannot use your uh, lightning. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can still use your thunder. Okay. Neat. Um, you also have a third option now. Uh, using the dragon femur nunchucks and the power of the stormbringer. Uh, the yeah, the stormbringer. Uh, fist wraps. You, you are able to create uh, fire using them. Fire, fire. Your, nunchucks, your options are fire and thunder damage. Nice. And it is extra D6. Long ago, the four nation was. <laughs> Okay. So, let's just try it. I'm the Avatar. You gotta deal with it. Dragon Chucks. Nice. <laughs> ah! uh, it I was like swinging them around making happy bird noises. Form when within 120 feet of a dragon. Nice. 
Um, it is very intricately carved. Yes. Um, with depictions of uh, mm. dragon fire. In fact, the uh, one of them looks like the dragon itself, and the other looks like a plume of fire. <gasps> oh, wait, um, hold on one sec. Did we get Princess for shot? We have not yet. Okay, I'm going to do that too. Okay. So, yeah, like, and then the, the, the chains connecting them um, have that kind of like that look to it that looks like it's when you lay it the right way, it looks like it's actually a dragon breathing fire. That's like so neat! Um, That's so neat! Uh, do, they, do they have a, a magical plus? Uh, they are plus one. Nice. Okay. Um, Plus see. one dragon checks. Uh, let's see. Um, when you swing them, they actually make kind of a whistling noise. All right. So, like, when you when you swing them and use them, you can actually hear, like, a whoom, whoom. <gasps> and it actually sounds, um, like a, like some kind of old dragon sounds? song. Oh. Nice. Well. So I'd like to spend time um, s letting letting the words slip around that the two of them created something worthwhile. Yes. If that's okay, Mike. <laughs> okay. And because I know that Aranus will tell whoever I go to in Rivers Keep to break the materials that I'm going to give them instead of making the Sham, I'm going to leave the commission with the <laughs> old death Dragonborn in Coronin and go back and pick up it it up at some point okay um <laughs> and but of course being dragon chucks they make you very obsessed with material wealth oh yes uh, how monk like to the point where <laughs> you are going to have to be convinced to start spending money ah in fact i'm on it more money yours <laughs> so just uh, keep that in mind. Yeah, it's it's nice to have that one back again. Uh, I I was a little sad when I lost my greedy quarter staff. I was like, no, no, where is my monk who who has to deal with the fact that her the the fancy weapons she's using to make her more powerful are making her obsessed with wealth? Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> that's okay. That's what that's what I'm here for. <laughs> So there are your plus one dragon chucks. Thank you. turning into Krissa. <laughs> yeah, right. No. <laughs> or maybe that's just a Katie thing, sort of like the. Krissa, Krissa's like that 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 picture where it's like, how much is a banana? Like five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. We found the crossroads as to where uh, her characters start and Katie begins. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, um, what was? What would it be for the? Protection? Oh, sorry, it's $10. Cloak of Protection. I, yeah, I have my Cloak of Protection. Okay. Uh, no, I'm commissioning um, a sham made out of the uh, spare yes. bit, uh, rib. So aside from the sham, did you commission the Cloak of Protection too? Uh, I, I did that last time with the loot. Okay. Um, anything else? Didn't someone get a... Who Didn't are you Vernon commissioning for the? Yeah, weren't you commissioning someone f with like the dragon wings for the cloak of protection? Uh, I went yeah. with a bunch of. Oh, he went for. I think. Did he want a cloak of the bat made out of dragon hide? For, uh, that's a question for Rain. I thought he commissioned something from the deaf old man. I thought he just went out and bought wings of flying. Did he? No, because you said you lost your old cloak of protection. Yeah, and I commissioned that with the loot. Right, so let's let's take let's take care of that. 
Did I already describe the cloak of protection? Or no. As you said, we'll worry about the if it has an extra thing next time. Yes. And now so I have let's a do that now. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, so it is made out of dragon parts. It has, it gets slightly warm within 120 feet of a dragon. Okay. <laughs> Trite. Okay. Um, it it uh, actually, as you when you wear it and you put it on, it is a cloak of protection to the point where it actually will start to whisper to you if something is going wrong. So it will give you a plus two bonus to your initiative if you aren't incapacitated. Wow. <gasps> the warning cloak of protection. I have to say. Yes. Is that I... instead of the plus one to armor class and saves? That is with the plus one to armor class. Oh, oh my god. My, your magic items are my favorite. <laughs> Just hands down, they're my favorite. I just have to but, say that. I know I say it a but, lot, but I have to replay. I have to repeat it. I I do that actually makes me feel really good. But it doesn't just mutter when you're in danger. It just kind of always seems. <laughs> to be it it grumbles a little bit more so. when you're in danger, but. <laughs> yeah, it always seems to be whispering. <laughs> Mutters constantly, slightly louder when in danger. <laughs> Gets into a fight with a dragon. Dragon, dragon is near. Cloak of warding intensifies. Imagining. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Jeez. I got a plus five to initiative. God help. <laughs> With advantage. Oh god. Yep. Barbarians. So that's that. Wait, um, what is what is what is LPS stand for? Uh, last, last beam standing. I uh, I thought that's what it stood for. <laughs> oh my god. How much is the Sham gonna set me back? Because I'll leave him with the money. And a it'll be another hundred. Okay. Leaving him with the money. Let's slip the paper. Um, and one last thing is I gave Grace a thousand of my remaining gold last time. Okay. Just as a, yeah. So she can okay. take it and spend Sounds it on good. things back in reverse keep. So Throck's all set. <laughs> Sounds good. Anything else anyone would like to do? Mm, I would um, like to take some of the platinum pieces out of the bag and just hold them in my hands. <laughs> no, that's what the bag is for. Hold them. No, no, no. <clears throat> it, just, it just feels better to have them in your hands sometimes, don't you think? Uh, they start I to prefer, smell a little bit when you like... I prefer, too long. I prefer to never have to see my money. I want someone to manage my wealth. I can manage it. Just You should just hand it all over to me right now. Oh, I don't know. Where I think you're right. holding on. Yeah. Holding I'd like you to put the coins back in the bag. What coins? <laughs> <laughs> Those coins. Which which ones? All of them. Uh, no. Which which coins specifically? All the coins. All of those coins in your hands. Oh, uh, these these coins. You mean yes, these those coins. coins? I don't have any coins in this hand. <laughs> Roll a deception. <laughs> yeah. attack. She puts down her hand and some I guess jingle she put her, back. Some, some, some jingle out of her sleeve when she puts her hand down. Oh shit. Oh, you're doing like that. Oh, 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 oh. Do I need to hold on to both of the bags of holding now? Those ones. And oh. Uh, Oh, all right, all right, all right. She reaches down and, like, very carefully picks up each one and, like, polishes it off a little bit and hands it to you. 
Does she normally do that? No. No. Did shiny. Era. Well, yeah. birds do like shiny objects, so that checks yes! out. Yes! We do. We do. Definitely. Wait. Time out. Time the fuck out. Time the fuck out. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah. Every, every single time I have made any, any sort of generic bird comparison, ah. you have been down my throat. <laughs> Arenas, I don't know how to say this. You're just annoying a little bit sometimes. <laughs> oh my god, I know. Sounds like she did know how to if say. If you it. didn't say so, if you didn't say so many nice things to me over the past few weeks, I would be inclined to believe you. It was all a ploy. <laughs> Take so away. tell me, do you like your newest presents? I do. It's very how's, pretty. How's your new vice deal? How are you enjoying your new vice? Mm. What new vice? I'm gonna take out um, a single gold coin and just kind of twiddle it between my fingers. You're going to drop that. Yep, that new vice. And I put the coin back. <laughs> Uh, Look, it's just that we have a lot of shit going on and we need to make sure that we keep all of our resources in track so that we don't lose them and never be able to see them again or use or, or see them again or or have them uh, well, on hand. Well uh, said. For, well said. Well for said. The, the the um the having of. <laughs> So well said. So I'm trying to keep track to keep a resource that be you safe and accounted for. Hold on, I'm a resource now. Uh oh, there she is. Technically, you're a valuable you're a valuable asset to those around you, and I'm trying to Maybe make sure you stay of safe. The team very highly appreciated for her ability to punch the shit out of anything. That is correct. Continue. And I'm making sure that you don't go lost or missing, and we never get to see you again. Okay. Why are you worried about that? It's called Dragon Sickness. This old guy named Tolkien wrote about it a few centuries ago. <laughs> I oh yes, I vaguely you, remember him. I'm not sure why you expect that I've read that. I don't. It's a rare medical condition where people become absolutely obsessed with gold and shiny objects. Oh, well, I would say that my current condition is less of an obsession and more of sort of a reasonable, rational concern while we're going after a freaking Draco Lich. The and first. then we are, and then we have to spend a year making a flying castle for some reason. I'm going to look at Ilionor because it's the first stage. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll an insight check. You are having me or not, you? Hold oh, up! Oh shit! You might be right. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so, your, so uh, what's your passive persuasion? No. Uh, my pass <laughs> so my, my passive my passive persuasion. So like, let's say if I roll a one, it's a sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> what about your deception? Um, uh, my deception. Is it the um, same? No, that's an eleven. Um, so let's see, my deception check. <gasps> Are you having me on? Are I'm gonna inspire. I'm gonna inspire myself. <laughs> oh my god! Or <laughs> just plucks a fucking cord in the middle. Um, roll a one. Roll a one. I'm contesting yours. I win on a tie. Hmm? <laughs> oh shit! I don't want to turn into a dragon. That, that, that's not, that's not how that works. Well, no, what, what is it then? Well, you get slowly more and more obsessed with gold. You start shunning your family and friends. Why do I want to shun my family and friends? And then you start shunning food and other pleasures like alcohol. No! And then you starve to death because you shun them all. The shit! Why'd they give me a curse item? 
Which, if as long as you keep your friends about you, you'll be fine. But more of us not show you. Oh, you couldn't get rid of us that easily. Oh, okay. Mm. But you're gonna have to listen to me when it comes to to matters of money, okay? As okay. hard as it might be. Okay, I'm gonna listen to the guy who oh, regularly brags oh, about sure. how he managed to get a shopkeep back there to buy a worthless tapestry for 1300 gold. Technically, I haven't bragged about that in a year and a half. <laughs> so maybe I'm better at remembering those sorts of things now, okay? And besides, <laughs> if I can get a better deal, isn't that better for you? Yeah, I can play- don't worry, I can play to the negative sides of this as well. Watching you. Watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to carry the party's bag of holding along with my own now? I'll I carry can, it. I, I can carry it. Yeah. I can carry both of them. I'm very strong. Let her carry the bag. Let her carry the bag. But she's not allowed to take things out of it. When she well, starts taking stuff out, she, we know she's getting sicker. Full of gold, there's, there's and then they jingle. It, though, and only she can get to it. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I have the I have the hold person spell. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> also haste. <laughs> oh, I need to get a I need to get a fork. I think that's surgery. great. And yeah. dimension door. <laughs> and plane shift and all this other fun stuff. Worst come to worst, I have to disintegrate. Uh, Bahamut, uh, Bahamut Sigma, Bahamut Megalita, Megalita, Bahamut. <laughs> well, that wouldn't actually work because she has. A bag of holding. She's really good at dodging stuff. Oh yeah, you can count. You can summon all kinds of things like Shiva, <laughs> Bahamut, Bahamut. <laughs> For those of you who are playing Bing, the. Uh, the Cleland Adventures Bingo at Home mark off uh, Final Fantasy VII abridged <laughs> as a uh, Final Fantasy VII abridged re re references. <laughs> while uh, while Aranis is I'm, I'm sure somebody has a bingo. Can can Rock reach into uh, the bag of holding and uh, pull out a potion and put it in his bag of holding? Yes. Okay. Just a potion, doesn't matter uh, what no, potion. No, a, a, a specific potion. Okay. Just okay. send me a whisper which potion it is. Yep. You wouldn't. <laughs> uh, uh oh. All right, what's the next step, everyone? All right. Are we going to go pick up Zenros? Or are we going to do Legend Lore? Um, I thought we were going to we're going to go to and by Zenros she means Zed. Um, <laughs> right. Zed. Uh, I thought we were going to go to um Aunt Kaz to confirm yeah. All oh, right. Name. Right. And also uh okay. Then we'll go down. Okay. So how do you, f Eleanor, how do you feel about teleporting us? I can do it. Okay. Aranis, don't you have a circle in the bottom of Aunt Cass's at the Sleeping Giant? Uh, that costs it, money. Yeah, that costs money. Teleport's free. Oh. And yeah, also... I, I hit things, so I don't also, know. This... Also, he can teleport to that circle. Because he's, you know, he's seen it before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know the... Uh... Are you kidding? I, I originally drew that circle, boy! <laughs> I've been there for 300 years! You don't know me! Uh, we. But that is, that is one of my teleports for today, yes. Be mad with me, damn it! What? What? 
<laughs> what? What is going on? Mike? The, uh, the, the cats have been, um, lying to Autumn, evidently. <laughs> I, I mean, I gave him more food because I didn't have the wet food, so that's probably why he's chirping at you, because he's like, where's my wet food? Oh. Sir Fluffles. Oh. Die, Fluffles. Willow didn't eat the cat treats. You have, like, how did you make? How did you make it over that cliff? I saw you fall. I see. <laughs> I never would have so, fallen. It's so weird. I've got like two conversations going. On. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm confused. Can he actually speak, cat? Or is he just, <laughs> or is he just bullshitting us? Brock goes upstairs and just shouts for Mika until she comes over. <laughs> Knowing him, be both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta remind myself of a couple things. Mm. Er, love you too. <laughs> okay, so where was I going with this? Uh, we're in Aunt Cat, the basement of the Sleeping Giant. Yes, you are in the basement Rock goes of the upstairs Sleeping and just giant. shouts for Mika. <laughs> I didn't... It, it fell on its own. I closed the door. <laughs> yes. Don <laughs> Fluffles. See that too? Um, wait, isn't Mika at, still in corn? or did you guys send they everyone got, back from corn? Okay. So, Mika comes running down. And it's Mika and Grace did. Yeah. And there's Grace holding the baby. They live at the Sleeping Giant? I thought they were at the, the mansion outside yeah. of town. Oh, right. <laughs> Well, Mika would probably be working. Yeah, there. <laughs> working. Um, yes. And Cass, the brains have a question for you. What is it, dear? We'd like to know about elves. <laughs> and and dragon. Like to know about and the, the dragon first. Oh, right. The dragon. Right. <laughs> 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 What was the name of the dragon again? We want to know what Mystery. the name if uh, the mistress is the actual name that the now Dracolich in Embrace goes by. If you happen to know that information. Well, uh, that would be a good question, now, wouldn't it? Mm. Here's the thing. <laughs> I am... Um, Not as well acquainted with the other dragons of the realm as I would like to have been. Mm. That is to say... <sighs> the mistress, as she has known has been a very mysterious, very, how do you say it? Elusive? Enigmatic? Yes, both oh, of those, really. Creepy? <laughs> <laughs> Cromulent. No, that's the Crack one that licks her lips. The best. But that is because she tends to operate with other people involved. Mm. She uses others as... Uh, think of her as like a puppet master and all the other people are her little puppets going out and doing her thing. That is why she's known as the mistress. She is, well... the mistress of, of these 
slave keepers and slave drivers and slave takers. So, would it be fair to assume that that, that she looks down on us because of, because we're lesser races, or is that not something? Most likely. Okay. But she finds usefulness in her underling, which is why she has her various helpers. Okay. But no one person knows really everything about her. Which is why she's such a hard creature to pin down. Mm. Okay. Well, let's see. If we do this, Aranis should do the city, because we can definitely get the information on that. I'll do the uh, mistress as it has a chance of failure. I mean, we can just describe uh, what we know about the mistress. Yeah, but I, I want yours to be the more useful use of our spell. <laughs> I'm trying to be kind to you! <laughs> Thank you for being kind to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is working in multiple contexts at the same time and I'm quite proud of myself. <laughs> okay, so I will... Um, I think I'd actually like to get a second use of Legend Lore at some point. Well, another second use. So yes, I will ask about... About Ulham. The city. Okay. And I will legend lore as I describe the place to the best of my ability. Okay. Uh, which, by the way, um, I think that location would probably be something that is uh, revealed by this. Place. Person, place, or object. Yeah, you describe it, but getting its actual location is a different story. Yeah. Alright, <clears throat> so I gotta re remind myself what this spell is. Well, while you prep that, Brock just goes to the school because he assumes that's where Grace is gonna be. Even if Brack is there, it doesn't mean Grace isn't gonna stop working. <laughs> <clears throat> The city, so you uh, you take your incense, your ivory strips. So the ivory strips are, um, they aren't consumed by the spell. So you lay them out, and you uh, begin to burn the incense, and you kind of do your little chant, and sit and meditate and breathe in the smoke and you run your hands over the ivory strips and soon you find yourself as you're running your fingers over the ivory strips um, you actually find that they, they, they stretch out and then eventually they start getting little bumps and grooves to them and the more and more you run your hands over them the 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 stranger things go. But eventually you find that essentially you're running your hands over your hands are acting like the needle in a record. Nice. And as you run your hand over the strips cool. it plays back to you. And it says <laughs> something along the lines of the lost city of Ulham 
buried in the shifting sands of time, forgotten to the world. Only a child of the sun, one chosen by his loving embrace, may find the city and bring light to the darkness that has consumed it. I wonder. Beware, <laughs> beware the maze of glass. Beware the bones of those who have died in the sands. Mm. Beware the mistress who lies in wait. Page has been running the city since oh. ancient times. So does that does that come with uh, GPS coordinates by by the by? <laughs> nope. Your lot of numbers are. Okay. Um, Can I get some one of those dowel rods? Just I'm gonna go <laughs> out and buy some more reagents. Um, after, of course, sharing that we essentially, yeah, we need to go get Zed. It's gonna be a Zed day. Yay! <laughs> Because Zach likes playing more than one character at the same time. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, we just share the video. Stitch sticking his claw on the ground yeah, yeah, and it opening up his mouth. You ain't yep. nothing but a half tough. Legend lore. <laughs> Legend <Yep>. lore. <laughs> Joke's on us. We have to get light. <laughs> 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 And now we have two people playing two characters. Oh god, yeah. why would you do that to me? <laughs> why don't we just ditch <laughs> Aranis and Ileanor? Who needs them? Oh, oh yeah. Major and casters and our healer, yeah. Who needs them? <laughs> bring in Vite and, uh, and Zed. Yeah, we can start construction on the keep if they do that. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather here. die. Than <laughs> we'll take care of the vehicle. I would have to. Right. I would, okay. Okay. so if long. You, your accent if, has changed. If if you if if you die, Vite can very begrudgingly bring you back to life. Uh, I would have to bring your Vite. It is at this point that uh, Aranis, your uh, your cloak. The clasps on your cloak begin to gently glow. Oh no! He's got a voicemail. <laughs> so okay. So two 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 thoughts just occurred to my head. Bump, bump, the first bump, thought bump, is is that oh my god, it could actually be Vite. <laughs> Someone chosen by the sun. Yeah. Um, and the second is ah uh, okay. So I have to go take this. I I'm gonna tap tap the thing tap the class. Hello, Lord Arenas, my king. I need you. Um, um, immediately, um, immediately with the other sentinels to my castle. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I wasn't expecting uh, this fanfiction possibility. Well, Throck told somebody that he went to the school, so... Somebody's um... <laughs> Do I have to? Um, immediately. Question mark. Immediately. Oh man. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to okay, I have the spell slots. We'll be there... Today. Today? It takes me time to cast a spell, my lord. <sighs> <laughs> Aranis, I need you to get here as soon as you can. Collect the other sentinels and get here as soon as possible. I understand. <laughs> the sass with these guys. I'll see, I'll see you soon. <laughs> my king. 
And then I'm assuming I hear a click. Yep. Okay, because he hung up. Um, so... Uh, we have to go. That's the... That's the, uh, we have to go visit the king call. He's so needy! Fine. Um... So, I have to collect you all, so you're all here, so let's go, nope. because... Throck went to, the, to, your, to your school. He assumed that's where Grace was going to be with Brack. He wanted to say hi. <sighs> <laughs> he, he, I assume he, he would have told, like, Era. I'm not my barbarian's keeper. Hmm. Era, where did he go? He went to your school. I'm going to use the message spells like Throck. We unfortunately have to go like immediately or we're going to be in trouble with the king. He's being a royal pain. Uh, you know, I, you know I, the I spell can't, can't hear you. <laughs> Shit. Uh, he responds with, all right, I'm at your school. Meet me halfway. So we will uh, go. I was just uh, talking with Grace. He's just filling her in on what our plan is, and then he's gonna let her know. Actually, now we're doing this. <laughs> uh, Had to be so movers and shakers, didn't we? And then he'll he'll meet up with you guys, and then take Mika off of his shoulder, and then a little hug and send her off to oh. Cass again. <clears throat> She's all kind of like sad and. Mm, about it, but she's like, okay. Dad's gotta go save the world again. Uh... And I'll remind her to keep keep up her training with uh, Tammy. She will continue to do that. <laughs> End of campaign. Mika. Seven years old, level twenty ranger rogue. Okay. <laughs> class. <laughs> God. Daddy, a sneak attack. <laughs> Fuck. Rage. Parental rage. <laughs> so we. Uh, so I'll cast teleportation circle. Begrudgingly. 